Hey YouTube, Captain Dave here with Third Wave. Today I want to do an unboxing of the GPS map 8612 XSV multifunction display unit from Garmin. We're using this as part of our glass home on Third Wave. And uh, so we'll walk, quickly walk through what comes in the box. Unboxing here. Found this unit on eBay um, from a reseller that actually gave us a great deal on it. These units are going for $39.99 retail and we picked this up for $3,000 which is a pretty good deal. Uh, there's a plastic cover on the top there. What do we got here? Uh, those are your uh, beauty rings for the frame. Packing. They give you a, a template for the installation. And the unit itself comes with a uh, blue rubber gasket around it, which is, I guess, part of the installation for waterproofing. If you take that off, you see that the uh, the frame is uh, exposed, and then you'll put those beauty rings over the top of it. There you go. There's a better picture. It weighs about seven pounds, eight pounds, I would say. Feels like a very solid construction. You have all of the uh, waterproof connectors on the back for the two network connectors. So for example, if you're going to connect the LVS32 Panoptics Live Scope uh, black box, uh, you would connect it through the network uh, port. It also has the 8 and the 12 pin um, transducer input. It's got an HDMI in and an HDMI out, which is uh, interesting. So basically, if you want to play an HDMI source on this screen, and, or uh, take this screen's output and play it on a, an external monitor. You can do both those things. Um, it's got uh, audio port, NMEA 2000, and uh, you know multiple other ports. Uh, it's also got a USB port. So uh, it's uh, quite a capable little unit. You also get a cable set, which includes, uh, looks like a nice heavy duty power cable. Okay. If you were going to top mount it, there's a quite a heavy uh, U-bracket. I think you can see it there. Maybe Taiwan. Um, I don't know what metal this is made out of. I hope it's at least aluminum, if not stainless. It feels too heavy for aluminum. It's probably a stainless uh, bracket. I'm sure it can't be steel. It would rust, but I don't plan to use this because uh, we're going to flush mount ours. But if you were going to top mount the unit, this would be the plate, uh, the, the item that you would need. You also got some rubber gaskets. Uh, some more cabling for it looks like your enemy a 2000 starter kit and some other various mounting and waterproofing hardware uh, this unit the Garmin 8612 XSV has uh, integrated into it the um, depth sounder function so basically you can Connect this directly to standard 12 and 8 pin uh, transducers. So, for example, um, the side scan type transducers uh, will plug right in with the 12 pin cable, and the uh, downward facing transducers, including like chirp um, straight down and traditional uh, transducers, go into the 8 pin input. And uh, so this unit will handle all those things along with, if you have it, radar. Um, it's obviously the base functionality of the unit is a, 
navigation system that's a touch screen unit. You can see that there's no uh, there's no buttons or anything. It's all touch screen. And uh, so one interesting thing about this unit that I plan to test, since we will have this unit side by side with a 22 inch um, outdoor readable touch screen monitor, is I will be testing the ability to see if I can control the Garmin from the touchscreen monitor using uh, Garmin's uh, USB on the go cable, which I also have. So I'll provide uh, information on that uh, in the links uh, to this video. In any case, um, if we can do that, then it allows us to do some really cool things um, with respect to controlling this unit from the larger screen where the picture will obviously be much better, much easier to read. Uh, we'll also have some interesting implications <laughs> on Garmin's product sales because this unit is $4,000 uh, retail. Uh, you can get a 10-inch version for maybe $2,500 retail. Um, but then, you know, they also make a 16 and I believe a 24 and they, they go up ridiculously in price to over $5,000 for the 16 and then like eleven thousand dollars for the 24 it's just it's kind of ridiculous just for a larger screen size i'm guessing the guts are the same the functionality is the same it's just you know that's how garmin marketing is trying to capture value for their larger screen products but if you can get that value by using an aftermarket touch screen uh you know i don't know how long how much longer they'll allow that in their firmware but i'm going to test the ability to do it i did ask their technical support if it was possible, they said it wasn't possible, and they said, but if you can make it work, more power to you. So anyways, we'll see if we can make it work. That's it for now, YouTube. Bye.